today we're going to talk about Caesar, a problem that is under arrays. This is a fantastic problem to get used to arrays, ASCII values, so let's get an understanding of what the problem is about. Uh, also, if you want to become a developer without a degree, check the description below where I have a video explaining how to do that. So without further ado, let's understand the problem. So you pass, you start a C program and give as input a value, an integer, 13. What that does is basically, let's take a look at the ASCII table. What that does is shift the values over. So for example, the ASCII value of uppercase A is 65. So if one of the inputs is what's A, let's say H or E, what's E plus 13? Let's first take a look at the value of E, that's 69, plus 13, 72, 82. So if we go to 82, that's R, that's R. So when we go back to, pro to the problem, you see that E becomes R. So for every single letter you ask, you add three ASCII values to that letter. The problem happens when it goes past Z, right? So let's say I'm at W and I want to add 10. So what do I do? I have to wrap around, right? So let's say I'm at uh, W, which is ASCII value 87. Let's say I add 10. So we should go 88. 1, 82, 89, 2, 93, and then we go back to uppercase A, 65. So we need a way to loop around, uh, for example, O becomes B because we went all the way to Z and went back to the beginning of the alphabet. So the way we're going to do that is by using this formula. K is going to be what we pass here as an argument. Pi is the ASCII value of my current letter, so for uh, H is a certain value. So remember, every letter has an ASCII value. So H will be a certain value, E will be another value, so on and so forth. Uh, this is a great example. So for example, let's say my K is 1. I add my Pi is the ASCII value of H. Plus 1, it equals L. E plus 1 equals F. And then, why do we do the module? Remember, the module is what gives me the remainder. Let's say I have a list of a bunch of numbers. Let's say I have A, A, B, C, D. The index of D is zero remember we start counting as zero zero one two three zero one two three three if we add two to three that's five but what's the total amount of uh, elements in the array four so what we do is three plus five module four so let's do three plus two module four so what I'm doing here is applying the formula. So two would be four would be uh, three would be the ASCII value, let's say. Two would be the the K, and the module twenty six is nothing more than the size of the array. So we do module four, sorry, not module two. So three, the current index of my ladder, plus two, which would be the key which would be the key, plus the size of the list. So that's equals five module four, that's equals one, which is exactly what happens if we add two to D and wrap around. So one after D is A, two is B. So module is a trick that helps us loop around the list and still get the right value. Why 26? Because the alphabet has 26 letters. So that makes sure that once we go to Z, we go back to A. So that's what we're going to do. So basically, we're giving an argument. If it's lowercase, initially it has to stay lowercase. If we have a non-alphanumeric, uh, non-alpha number, it has to keep it like that. 
and if we don't pass an integer that should be uh, that should uh, complain tell you what you should do so let's see how the code looks like so we have a main function that's where the program gets started let me just check if everything's getting recorded argc will be the number of arguments remember that the name of the function itself is the number of arguments it's one argument then the 13 is two arguments so we want two arguments so that would give us an argc equals two so if we have less than two or more than two we should print that there is a problem say like hey this is how we should print and return one meaning we weren't successful running the program another check we need to do is to check if all the uh, if all the if if one of the arguments that we uh, write here on the terminal is uh, alpha so it's a letter because if it's a letter it doesn't work we want an integer there is this function called is alpha so we're gonna loop through the arguments argv1 so all the arguments uh, from we write on the terminal they're storing an array called argv1 argv0 is the name of the function we don't want that argv1 is whatever we wrote in this case 13 so we're gonna and remember this is gonna be a string so we're gonna loop through that string and check if the current letter of that string or the current character of the string is uh, is alpha if it is it's also wrong so after we did these two checks that means we're good to go so we got the right input we are go we are good so now we're gonna apply that formula so we're gonna use this function called a toy so a toy basically so let's a toy cs50 a toy what it does is it takes in a string and makes a string into an integer so for example if i want to transform a string 50 into an 